Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how you can go ahead and change your resolution to 4K on the Xbox Series X, S or the Xbox One. So, first of all, what we are going to do is we are going to go over to settings. All settings, you want to go over to general, right over here. And we'll go over to TV and display options. So, also I'm going to show you a fix. If you cannot like enable it, like if you cannot change it to 4K. So like you see, I have the 4K option, but I'm recording right now. If I change it to 4K, it will stop recording. Anyone that has an Elgato will know this. So yeah, now what we can do is if you don't see the option to enable 4K, what you can do is you can go for two video modes. This is the first fix. I'm also gonna show you the second one. So over here, what I suggest you guys to do is allow 4K and all of the rest. So once you have done that, what you want to do is you want to check again. If you see 4K, you probably will have 4K. But if it doesn't show 4K on here, guys, I'm going to show you a fix for that. So now what you want to do is you want to check your cables. So make sure that you're using a 2.1 HDMI cable. That's really important, guys. So you will have types of cables actually of HDMI. You have the 1.4, which is quite old. I don't suggest you guys to use that. There's the 2.0 and there's the 2.1. <clears throat> the 2.1 can support 8K 60 frames per second and also 4K 120 frames per second. So it's really good. That's what I suggest you guys to use. If you have the HMI, you probably have it with your Xbox. So don't switch the HMIs. That one is pretty much good enough. So now, let's just say that you have the 2.1 HDMI and you still don't have the 4K option or let's just say that you have the 4K option but you don't get 120 frames per second or 120 uh, refresh rates, let's just say that. So what you can do is, I had this problem actually, you want to go to your 4K TV details before we do it, you will see like what your TV supports. So on my screen, so my TV personally is a 4K 144 Hertz. So it should be able to support up to like 4K 120, but it doesn't say that because I'm using the Elgato, like I said, guys. But what you can basically do is you want to go back, go back again. You want to go over to your system. You want to click on your console info, which I'm not going to do. There's some private information. On there, you want to go ahead and reset your console, keep your games and apps. So once you do reset, keep your games and apps, you will basically be able to collaborate your TV again. So that's how I did it myself because it just glitched out for some reason. I tried to go on here. I tried to cl like collaborate my TV from here and stuff like that, but it just didn't work out. So yeah, it says 2.0, but I suggest you guys to use a 2.1 to be honest. So yeah, that's what you can do guys. You can just reset your console, keep your games and apps. And if you're worried about storage, like saved data or something like that, like it's automatically already saved to your cloud storage. But if you are really like worried about that, what you can do is get a flash drive, just upload it there. And once you're done with the reset, you can just go ahead and upload the data back, but it's really unnecessary because 99% 99 of, 99 of the people already have their saved data on their store, I mean, their clouds. So yeah. And yeah, this was basically the video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you still have problems, you can join this community right over here and also comment down below. Like you see, add or fix. And also guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, subscribe. This is how you can go ahead and enable 4K on the Xbox Series S, X and Xbox One. So take care and goodbye.